Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. Since we have started our online classes in this one year span of time, we have trained several thousands of students preparing for various competitive exams. If you want to meet our expert faculty team, you can meet our expert faculty team and we are going to come across with best and unique content which will help you to crack your examinations in a smart way. We are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail and we are going to come across with best and smart approaches which will help you to crack your examinations in very short span of time. Our expert faculty team is going to teach you each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you want, you can join our free foundation batch. This free foundation batch, you need not pay any money for this and in this free foundation batch, you can meet our expert faculty team who are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you have any doubts, you can contact us through these numbers and we welcome you to be part of Channel Logics. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Channel Logics. In this session, we'll be going to discuss 31st March current affairs and at the end of our session, even we'll be going to do practice questions. So try to stay focused while we are discussing the descriptive concepts because at the end of the session you people need to answer for the following practice questions here the questions were designed by considering your previous year question papers and also even by considering our today's descriptive concepts based on those concepts from each and every descriptive session that is descriptive concept how the questions will be raised whether the questions is an in indirect format or expected questions sometimes or else any previous year question like models will be similar or else not so we will be come to know at the end of the session by doing the practice session so just focus on the descriptive concepts while we are discussing and now before going to begin our session of 31st march current affairs even if you want to download free pdfs of current affairs as in handbook you can use latter even you can consider like which are actually uh, which plays a major role even while your revision time at the time of your examination and particularly regarding this current affair pdfs will be providing day on daily basis so just here is a one step to get access for free current affair pdfs is all about go through the description in the description will be providing a link click on the link and join through telegram channel apart from this many of you were unaware about that is regarding Telugu current affairs. So if you want to watch Telugu current affairs, go through Chandan Logic's Telugu YouTube channel. There will be uploading Telugu current affairs on daily basis. And now, if we start with our descriptive session, so first let us cover the concepts under national news. And today, here it is in current affair regarding national news is all about India's first long-lasting steel road which was recently built in Gujarat. So now let us discuss all about the steel road which is for the first time India has come up with this type of initiative and let us discuss in detail even regarding and also including the location too. Here comes to the location called Surat Gujarat actually here India's India's first steel road featured in Surat Gujarat and this particular road actually created by using the waste from the steel that is known as steel waste so here you need to focus what is the major objective and also what is the significance of the road here this is for the first time in india steel road has been constructed and that steel road actually was constructed by using the products called and consider here steel waste so now let us discuss in detail how by using steel waste the road has been constructed so if we move to the concept here this is one of the best instance instance of the sustainable development and also including here you can consider nippon steel india collaborate on steel slag road with the council of scientific and industrial research called csir and also including you can consider central road research institute so here considering the two institutions and the organizations which has actually collaborated with nippon steel india is it clear and then if we move to the concept in detail and also one of the government think tank which represents niti ayog 
So here even Niti Aayog also played a major role for constructing India's first long lasting steel road and which is in Surat, Gujarat. Now let us discuss all about the steel waste here. Here comes to various industries and plants which across the country produces million tons of steel waste. So what, what, what is the purpose and also how we can use the steel waste. So one of the idea by the government of India is all about constructing the roads by using the steel waste. And here comes to of the steel waste each year which is actually disposed in a landfills. And also this is one of a kind initiative will now not only make the use of steel waste but also previously underutilized resources and now but also this will result in one more durable roadways. So here try to concentrate on the terminology called the durable roadways. And now this is your first descriptive question. Try to answer in comment section all about the durable roadways. So here try to mention in comment section the clear exact meaning of what is meant by durable roadways right and then you can consider here the overall objective and also the major significance all it is in current affair is about steel road and these were the roads used by these were the roads which are constructed by using the steel wastage which is actually produced by many number of plants and industries across India. So here you need to focus here this is for the first time in India by using steel waste the roads has been constructed and for the first time in Surat, Gujarat this is the initiative came into scenario. I hope that you were clear with the concept everyone. And now let us discuss the next concept under appointments. Actually today it is in current affair all about the council called Broadcast Audience Research Council of India. So now first let us discuss all about the institute or the council called Broadcast which is which represents Broadcast Audience Research Council India. So first if we know about Broadcast Research Council of India which represents this is the world largest television measurement science and industry body right and then if we move to the concept here all about the council is the first significance and the utmost significance you need to remember is world's largest television measurement and also which even concluding the measurement science industry body. Then moving to the other significances actually this council is a joint industry body which was founded by organizations and also which represents Indian broadcasters, audience and as well as advertisers, advertising and media agencies. So jointly all these media agencies, advertisers, advertising agencies and includes Indian broadcasters. So jointly all these organizations has come up with the initiative and set up a council called Broadcasting Audience Council of India. And then if we move to the concept of static GK, all these organizations has been established broadcast Indian council research in India. But when and where are the headquarters? So this is the utmost question regarding static part. Here comes to the established year is 2010 and moving to the headquarters is it Mumbai. So try to concentrate even on the static part parallelly with the dynamic current affair. Here comes to Broadcast Audience Research Council of India which actually established in the 2010 with the headquarters at Mumbai. And now, till now we have done with the concept called Broadco Broadcast Audience Research Council of India. And now, let us discuss why actually this particular organization or the council is in current affair because here for this particular council here recently Shashi Sinha named as a new chairman. Who is that? The person is known as Shashi Sinha. Even you can have a glance over the image of a person here Shashi Sinha who has been appointed as a new chairman for Broadcast Audience Research Council of India which is known as BARC, B-A-R-C. So majorly you will be coming across many number of times all about BARC. So in this session just now I have covered about the organization of the council called BARC. It is at most important thing once if you make a static part notes clearly this will be helpful for your whole time preparation for your competitive exams. So try to stay focused while I am discussing static part in the session. See let us consider in the next class if regarding BARC and any current affair is in news. 
but there I won't be discuss about bark because at this particular session we have done with the static part. So in the next session just I'll be moving towards the dynamic part. So whenever I'll be discussing initially all about the static part of an organization of the company or institute or entity just try to take the notes at the point of time. Don't delay it. I'm there. If we go to the concept here, Shashi Sinha actually now recently appointed as a new chief executive officer and the chairman for Broadcast Audience Research Council of India. Now let us know all about the person, previous background and the historical background. Here comes to the board of Broadcast Audience Research Council called BARC recently elected. Here the person previously used to work as IPG Media Brands India CEO that is Shashi Sinha. Now Shashi Sinha has been appointed as a new chairman for BART and also he will take over from Putin Gonka who is present in charge. So from the person called Put Punit Gonka, so the person Shashi Sinha will be going to take the position as the chairman for BART and also which includes here you can consider Sinha who also represents the advertising agencies association of India and, and which you can consider here, here the association involved is Advertising Agencies Association of India. For this vote, he even used to work as a member and also has played a key role in the formation of BARC. So, you need to consider the historical background of the person. Why? What is the reason? Maybe you may get the doubt. Here is a solution that whenever you will be going across the person's historical background and the working areas previously in which areas he used to work, then you can come to know why only this person has been chosen for a particular position. So here even Shashi Sinha actually played an important role in forming and establishing bar and also previously he used to work for chief executive officer for other companies and also even which includes the advertising agencies association of India the person used to work as a board member too. So by considering all these uh, working experiences of a person so Shashi Sinha has been selected and appointed as a new chairman for BARC, right? I hope that you are clear with the concept. Let us move to the next concept. And now we will be going to cover under banking news. So here it is in current affair all about the new development center. Let us discuss all about the development center, what is the objective and who has been come up with this initiative. So today it is in current affair about Shakti Kanta Dasli's foundation stone of Learning and Development Center of BRB NMPL in Mysore. So now let us discuss all about this development, learning and development center. What is its objective? And also we have done with like Shakti Kanta Das, who represents like and then even we'll be going to know about the terminology and the word called BRB NMPL. What does it stands for? First, if we move to the full form of BRB NMPL. Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited. Now, let us discuss why it is in current affair. So, if you move to the current affair, Governor of Reserve Bank of India or as the Central Bank of India, which is known as RBI. So, recently Shakti Kanta Das laid a foundation store for establishment of learning and development center and particularly which is of Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited, which is in Mysore, Karnataka. And now, if we move to BRB NMPL organization, actually you need to consider here Bharatiya, sorry, Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited is actually a wholly owned subsidiary of our Reserve Bank of India, which represents RBI. Try to concentrate. Maybe the question is in the format like just try to choose the correct option which is regarding Bharatiya Reserve Bank note Mudran Private Limited whether it is wholly owned subsidiary of RBI or else not wholly owned subsidiary of RBI neither A nor B or both A and B. So then here what your answer should be it is actually wholly owned subsidiary of Reserve Bank of India. Right, so this is the format of question. Even how they'll be rising at the at, at your examination. So this is all about BRB NMPL. And now it is in current affair about learning and development center. Recently, governor of RBI has been led the foundation stone. Then how this will be going to help? 
here you can consider learning and development center which represents with ldc this is being established with active collaboration from security printing and minting corporation of india and also bank not paper mill india private limited even including the main objective is that this will act as a forum for which is you can consider here robust knowledge dissemination and also ensuring for the best practices experiences and also the innovation so here this can be shared efficiently but for what which is to ensure and to promote uniformity in the bank note production and also quality and supply as we know that production quality and supply of the bank notes which is representing with the indian currency here all above to ldc learning and development center so at this center they'll be going to share the best practices and the experiences have to produce a quality notes banking notes and also have to supply them so in, in order to ensure this development in the banking notes particularly learning and development center has been established and this will be going to establish just now governor of rbi shakti kandas led the foundation stone to build learning and development center right and then if we move to the next concept under sports news so today it is in current affair all about max verstappen recently the person who wins 2022 arabian grand prix so now let us discuss all about max verstappen and as well as saudi arabian grand prix of 2022 So here comes to Max Verstappen as we know that Red Bull from Netherlands has won the Formula 1 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and which is at the Saudi Arabia try to concentrate here the host place for the 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix is Saudi Arabia and then you can consider here Grand Prix is which also represents with the F1 racing or else Formula 1 so here for the formula 1 which represents a set of rules the participant should be followed so that is why the name has been derived as formula 1 or is like grand prix and here it is in current affair all about max verstappen even in this particular grand prix call saudi 2022 saudi arabia grand prix in the first position max verstappen and moving to second and third position so maybe you may get the doubt ma'am why is it necessary to know about second and third positions yes actually even there is a chance to raise a question which is based on second and third positions too how right so you may get the doubt here how the format of question let us consider an example question here try to choose the correct option who were not among the top 3 at saudi arabia 2022 grand prix so options will be all the three runner ups and d will be who was actually not in the position of third position so here how you can choose exactly and correctly the option so whenever you will be aware of the top 3 that is the winners regarding saudi arabia grand prix then you can eliminate those three and the remaining option you can choose right in that no issues so this is the correct format and the approach of the question so here you need to know there is a, that is there is a chance even to raise a question based on the three that is top three positions of any tournament or else any championship even considering sometimes there is a chance to raise even regarding top 5 too right and now you can consider here the second position is charles leric from monaco and that is came second next moving to sinus junior who has been from spain which has like you can consider here the position is third So the first position is Max Verstappen in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, and then if we move about the tournament, here comes to Saudi Arabia Grand Prix of 2022 represents which edition? It represents second edition, and also you can consider here this is actually the second round of 2022 Formula One World Championship. Lewis Hamilton managed to get a point on the board after coming to the tenth. so but you need to consider in this current affair neglect all this the top 3 positions and also the edition here comes to the edition is second edition of saudi arabian grand prix and which represent 2022 so you can remember here 2022 and second edition all twos will be repeated so like sometimes you can frame your own tricks to remember the editions or else to remember the names of a person right and then next if we move to the concept under defense news 
So here it is in current affair in defense news all about MRSAM missile. So now let us discuss all about MRSAM missile. Here it is in current affair that DRDO recently conducted a successful test fire about the regarding the Indian Army missile called medium range surface to air missile. So which represents what is that MRSAM medium range surface to air missile and recently it has conducted a two successful flight test of the Indian Army and also which is against the high speed aerial targets which are in the, the test range. So then where the test fire has been conducted maybe this is a question right. So here if you know this is at Chandipur which is at the off of the coast of Odisha and the fire test launched was to intercept a medium altitude long range target and the second la launch was which is for the low altitude short range target. So you need to consider here actually recently has conducted the two successful flight tests. The first one is medium altitude with the long range and the second launch is regarding low alt altitude and with the short range. So if it is like medium it is of long range then if it is of like consider here low altitude then this is of a short range. So this is all about the targets and also it has successfully conducted the test fire which is the missile actually which represents medium range surface to air missile try to concentrate on the category of the missile here this is surface to air missile right and then you can consider this is conducted by the Indian army and MRSAM is the army weapon system which comprises of multi functions but regarding what even regarding radar technology mobile launcher system and other vehicles. And here Indian Army version of MRSAM is the surface to air missile and also this has been jointly developed by Defense Research and Development Organization and also includes the other country is that which is regarding Israel Aerospace Industries. Is it clear? So these were the two organizations jointly have developed a missile called MRSAM missile and try to concentrate here regarding MRSAM missile. So here you need to focus is all about the other country which has actually collaborated with the DRDO is Israel Aerospace Limited and this is all about MRSAM missile and this is surface to air missile even has conducted the two successful test fires done and then. So with this we have done with our descriptive session. Now you people need to answer for the practice questions just everyone get ready with the practice with, with the descriptive concepts once you make it revision just pause the video for five minutes and go through all the concepts so now let us start with the practice questions i hope you were everyone with were the perfect with the concepts and also you were clear with the concept right and now if we move to the first question here which represents Indian Army version of medium range surface to air missile which has been developed jointly by DRDO and partnership by which of the following country. If we move to the options Italy, United States, France, Russia or Israel. So till now we have done with the same concept at the end of our descriptive session. I hope you have got the point right and then. If we move to the next question which player has won? Formula 1 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix even 2022 represents which edition it represents second edition and then here the question is that who has stood in the top position Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, Charles Lelarka or else Carlos Sainz Joyar and then now you even along with this question try to mention the options the positions of the top three in the chronology is it clear if it is like the first person is B and the second person is C and the third person is A so just mention the chronology of the top three positions option names in the comment section along with this particular question and the second question is a top three option names just try to mention in comment section and then if you go to the next question here, the foundation stone which is to set up learning and development center of BRB NMPL which has been led at which of the following places. 
and here learning and development center as we have done with the concept right this is particularly for the banking notes production and that means to ensure and to develop the banking notes production quality and supply what are those three production quality and as well as supply so here these three were included which is regarding the banking of notes and this was in the initiative which is bought up by RBI Reserve Bank of India and recently the foundation stone has been laid by the RBI governor called Shakti Kanta Das and but it which place is all about the question so as I have said that maximum based on the location the questions will be raised so here it is one of the format if we move to the options Kochi, Bhopal, Mysore or else Bela Gavi and then the first ever road project which was made out of the way steel and this has come up in which of the following city of India and then even in our today's session maximum three to four questions were which were actually regarding the location so at least in every one session you will be perfect with the one of the format of question so here in this session nearly I have included three to four questions which are based on the location so here comes to all about the first ever road project which is made out of the waste steel and which has come up in the which are the following cities in India Hyderabad, Gurugram, Surat or Jamshadpur try to mention your exact answer in the comment section and then next question is all about the bark which represents broadcast audience research council of India recently the new chairman has been appointed for bark and what is the name of a person who has been appointed maybe other than the person name there is a chance to raise the question regarding the static GK of Bark. So everyone be ready even to answer for this question now. Bark established here is a first question and regarding headquarters is a second question regarding the static part and the third one is there is one of the significance regarding worldwide as we have discussed in the class. So just to mention the significance regarding the worldwide for bark so these are your three static questions along with the dynamic question which is based on the uh, new chairman who has been appointed for bark if we move to the options nakul chopra shashi sinha punit goenka or vinod ji kandare so just try to mention in comment section along with these three question answers i have to see all the descriptive questions including the practice questions right so for all these nearly 10 to 15 questions I have raised the session including descriptive part and as well as like static questions and the dynamic questions of our today's concept so I hope that you people all with the perfect with the concepts and the clarification all about the approaching of the questions and how to analyze the questions right you may like I can expect that the answers for each and every question whatever I have raised in the session or of our today's class right thank you everyone we'll be meeting in the next session with some other topics until then stay tuned stay safe and stay home